Esteemed audience, I am truly honored to stand before you this evening and share some thoughts on a topic that resonates deeply with me, how to communicate with the universe before slumber. Now, I can anticipate some skeptical reactions. You might be wondering, communicate with the universe? Has this speaker lost their faculties? Let me assure you, I haven't lost anything except perhaps a few hours of rest contemplating this very subject. But what I've gained in return is immeasurable. Consider the world we inhabit. From the moment we rise until we retire, we're inundated with a cacophony of sounds. The constant pings of notifications, the clamor of traffic, the chatter of colleagues and loved ones, it's an unceasing symphony that rarely allows for pause. Amidst this constant din, we often neglect to listen to the most crucial voice of all, the voice of the cosmos itself. But what do I mean by the universe? Am I referring to some mystical, otherworldly force? Well, yes and no. The universe I speak of is both within us and around us. It's the totality of existence, the celestial bodies above, the earth beneath our feet, and everything in between, including you and me. When we learn to communicate with the universe before sleep, we're tapping into a wellspring of wisdom and potential that has always been present. We're opening ourselves to possibilities we might never have considered otherwise. We're aligning ourselves with the natural rhythms and flows of existence itself. I can see some dubious expressions out there. You're probably wondering, how exactly do we communicate with the universe? Does it have a contact number or an email address? I understand your skepticism. In our hyper-connected world, we're accustomed to instant communication. We expect responses at the touch of a button. But communicating with the universe requires a different approach. It demands patience, openness, and above all, a willingness to listen. So, let's break this down. How do we actually go about communicating with the universe before sleep? It begins with creating the right environment. Think about it, when was the last time you had a truly important conversation? Chances are, you didn't conduct it while standing in the middle of a bustling street or shouting over loud music. No, you likely found a quiet, comfortable space where you could focus and genuinely connect. The same principle applies when we're trying to communicate with the universe. We need to create a space that's conducive to that kind of deep, meaningful exchange. For most of us, that space is our bedroom. It's where we begin and end each day, where we're at our most vulnerable and open. So, the first step in communicating with the universe before sleep is to transform your bedroom into a sanctuary. Clear out the clutter, remove distractions like televisions and computers, make your bed a place of comfort and peace. When you enter this space, you should feel a sense of calm wash over you. This is your personal portal to the universe. Once you've created this sacred space, the next step is to prepare yourself. And this is where many people stumble. We're so accustomed to being on all the time that the idea of truly letting go can be frightening. But it's essential if we want to connect with the universe. Start by turning off your phone. I know, I know the very thought of it probably sends shivers down your spine. But trust me on this, the universe isn't going to text you or slide into your DMs. It communicates in subtler ways, and to hear it, we need to eliminate the noise. Next, take a few deep breaths. Feel the air filling your lungs, then slowly release it. With each exhale, imagine you're letting go of the day's stress and worries. Let your body relax, starting from your toes and working your way up to the crown of your head. As you do this, you're not just relaxing physically, you're creating space in your mind for new thoughts and insights to enter. Now comes the crucial part, the actual communication. But here's the thing, communicating with the universe isn't like ordering from a menu. You can't just say, universe, I'll have the winning lottery numbers and a side of eternal youth, please. It doesn't work that way. Communicating with the universe is more about opening yourself up to guidance and inspiration. So instead of making demands, try framing your thoughts as questions or intentions. For example, you might ask, universe, what do I need to know right now, or what can I do to bring more love and joy into my life, or even how can I be of service to others? The key is to keep your questions open-ended. Don't try to force or predict the answers. Remember, we're not looking for a magic eight ball here. 
we're seeking wisdom and insight that can guide us on our journey. Once you've posed your question or set your intention, the next step might surprise you. It's to let go. That's right, after all that preparation and focus, the most important thing you can do is nothing. Simply relax and allow yourself to drift off to sleep. You see, sleep is when our conscious mind takes a back seat and our subconscious comes out to play. And it's in this state that we're most receptive to the whispers of the universe. As we sleep, our minds process the events of the day, make connections we might have missed while awake, and tap into deeper wells of wisdom and creativity. Now, I can already hear some of you thinking, but what if I don't remember my dreams? What if I wake up and haven't received any profound insights? Don't worry, that's completely normal. The universe doesn't always communicate in clear, straightforward messages. Sometimes its guidance comes in the form of a feeling, an unexpected idea, or a seemingly random encounter during the following day. The key is to remain open and attentive. Pay attention to your intuition, to those gut feelings that seem to come out of nowhere. Notice the synchronicities and coincidences that pop up in your life. These are all ways the universe might be responding to your questions. Now, I want to be clear about something. Communicating with the universe before sleep isn't a passive activity. It's not about lying in bed and waiting for miracles to happen. It's about creating a dialogue between your conscious intentions and the vast reservoir of wisdom that exists within and around you. It's about aligning yourself with the flow of life and being open to guidance and opportunities. I think of it like planting a seed. When you communicate with the universe before sleep, you're planting a seed in the fertile soil of your subconscious mind. But just like a physical seed, it needs nurturing to grow. You need to water it with your attention, fertilize it with your actions, and give it the light of your conscious awareness. This means that when you wake up in the morning, your work isn't done it's just beginning. Take a few moments to reflect on your dreams, your feelings, your first thoughts upon waking. Journal about them if you can. Look for patterns or themes that might be emerging. Then, as you go about your day, stay alert for signs or messages that might be related to your nighttime queries. Maybe you'll overhear a conversation that provides unexpected insight. Perhaps you'll come across a book or article that speaks directly to your question. Or maybe you'll suddenly see a solution to a problem that's been puzzling you for weeks. The universe speaks in many languages, and it's up to us to learn how to interpret them. It's like learning any new skill, it takes practice, patience, and persistence. Some nights you might feel a profound connection, receiving clear guidance or inspiration. Other nights it might seem like nothing happened at all. But don't get discouraged. The universe operates on its own timeline, not ours. Remember, too, that communicating with the universe before sleep isn't just about receiving, it's also about giving. It's about opening yourself up to be a channel for universal wisdom and love. So as you pose your questions each night, also consider asking how you can be of service. How can you use your unique gifts and talents to make the world a better place? This practice of communicating with the universe before sleep can have profound effects on your life. For one, it helps to cultivate a sense of wonder and curiosity. In our fast-paced, information-saturated world, it's easy to fall into the trap of thinking we know everything. But when we open ourselves up to the universe, we're reminded of how vast and mysterious existence truly is. We're reminded that there's always more to learn, more to discover. It also helps to foster a sense of connection not just to the universe at large, but to everything and everyone in it. When we regularly commune with the universe, we start to see the interconnectedness of all things. We begin to understand that we're not isolated individuals, but part of a grand cosmic dance. This sense of connection can be incredibly empowering. It reminds us that we're not alone in our struggles and challenges. It gives us the courage to take risks, to pursue our dreams, to live authentically. Because when we're aligned with the universe, we're tapping into a power far greater than our individual selves. Now, I want to address something that might be on some of your minds. You might be thinking, this all sounds great, but I'm not a spiritual person. I don't believe in any higher power or cosmic force. And that's okay. The beauty of this practice is that it doesn't require any specific beliefs. 
you don't need to subscribe to any particular religion or philosophy to benefit from communicating with the universe before sleep. I think of it as a way to tap into your own inner wisdom, your own untapped potential. Think of the universe as a metaphor for the vast, largely unexplored realms of your own mind. Because the truth is, we all have depths of knowledge and insight that we rarely access in our day-to-day -day lives. This practice is a way to dive into those depths, to bring that hidden wisdom to the surface. It's also a powerful tool for self-reflection and personal growth. When we communicate with the universe before sleep, we're really communicating with ourselves. We're creating space to examine our thoughts, our beliefs, our desires. We're giving ourselves permission to dream big, to imagine new possibilities for our lives. And let's not forget the practical benefits. In our hyperconnected world, many of us struggle with sleep. We toss and turn, our minds racing with worries about the past or anxieties about the future. But when we engage in this practice of communicating with the universe before sleep, we're giving our minds something positive and constructive to focus on. We're setting an intention for our subconscious to work on as we rest. This can lead to better sleep quality, which, as we all know, has numerous health benefits. When we sleep well, we wake up feeling refreshed and energized. We're more creative, more productive, more emotionally balanced. So in a very real sense, communicating with the universe before sleep isn't just good for our spiritual or emotional well-being, it's good for our physical health too. Now, I want to share a personal story with you. A few years ago, I was at a crossroads in my life. I had a successful career, a comfortable lifestyle, all the trappings of what society tells us is success. But deep down, I felt unfulfilled. I had this nagging sense that I was meant for something more, something different, but I had no idea what that something was. That's when I stumbled upon this practice of communicating with the universe before sleep. At first, I was skeptical. It seemed too simple, too woo-woo for my logical, analytical mind. But I was desperate for guidance, so I decided to give it a try. For weeks, I asked the same question every night, universe, what is my true purpose? And for weeks, nothing seemed to happen. I didn't have any profound dreams or sudden epiphanies. But I kept at it, trusting that something was happening beneath the surface. Then one morning, I woke up with a crystal clear thought in my mind, your purpose is to help others find their purpose. It wasn't a booming voice from the heavens or a dramatic vision, just a simple, clear thought. But it resonated with me on a deep level. That single insight led me on a journey of transformation. I left my corporate job, retrained as a life coach, and eventually found myself here, speaking to all of you about the power of communicating with the universe before sleep. And let me tell you, I've never felt more aligned, more fulfilled, more truly myself. Now, I'm not saying that you'll have the same experience. Your journey will be uniquely yours. But I share this story to illustrate the potential power of this practice. When we open ourselves up to the wisdom of the universe or our own deeper selves, if you prefer, amazing things can happen. So how do we make this a regular practice? How do we ensure that we're consistently tapping into this universal wisdom? Well, like any habit, it takes commitment and consistency. Here are a few tips to help you make communicating with the universe before sleep a part of your nightly routine. First, set a regular bedtime and stick to it as much as possible. Our bodies and minds thrive on routine. By going to bed at the same time each night, you're creating a rhythm that your subconscious will come to associate with this practice. Second, create a pre-sleep ritual. This could involve taking a warm bath, doing some light stretching, or reading a few pages of an inspiring book. The specific activities don't matter as much as the consistency. The goal is to signal to your mind and body that it's time to wind down and open up to the universe. Third, keep a journal by your bed. Use it to write down your questions or intentions each night, and to record any insights or dreams you have upon waking. Over time, you may start to see patterns or themes emerging. Fourth, be patient and compassionate with yourself. Some nights you might feel deeply connected and inspired. Other nights you might struggle to quiet your mind or formulate a question. That's okay. This is a practice, and like any practice, it has its ups and downs. 
Fifth, share your experiences with others. Find a companion or family member who's interested in this practice and check in with each other regularly. Sharing your insights and challenges can deepen your understanding and keep you motivated. And finally, remember that this is your practice. Feel free to adapt it to suit your needs and beliefs. Maybe you prefer to meditate on your questions rather than asking them directly. Maybe you find it helpful to visualize your questions as beams of light radiating out into the cosmos. There's no one right way to do this. The key is to find what works for you and stick with it. Now, I want to address a question that often comes up when I talk about this practice. People ask me, isn't this just a form of positive thinking or self-help? How is it different from setting goals or making affirmations? And it's a great question. There are certainly similarities. Like positive thinking or goal setting, communicating with the universe before sleep is a way of focusing our minds on what we want to achieve or understand. But I believe it goes deeper than that. When we set goals or make affirmations, we're operating from our conscious mind. We're using our logical, analytical thinking to determine what we want and how to get it. And that's valuable, don't get me wrong. But it's also limited by our current knowledge and beliefs. Communicating with the universe before sleep, on the other hand, taps into something broader. It opens us up to possibilities beyond what our conscious mind can conceive. It allows us to access deeper wells of wisdom and creativity. It's not about forcing outcomes through sheer willpower, but about aligning ourselves with the natural flow of life and being open to unexpected opportunities and insights. I think of it like this, setting goals is like plotting a course on a map. You decide where you want to go and figure out the best route to get there. Communicating with the universe before sleep is more like setting sail on the open ocean. You have a general direction in mind, but you're open to the winds and currents guiding you to places you might never have discovered otherwise. Both approaches have their place. In fact, they can work beautifully together. You might set conscious goals during the day, then ask the universe for guidance on how to achieve those goals at night. The combination of focused intention and openness to universal wisdom can be incredibly powerful. Now, I want to touch on something that might be a bit controversial. Some people worry that practices like this are somehow at odds with science or rational thinking. They fear that by opening themselves up to universal wisdom, they're abandoning logic and reason. But I would argue that nothing could be further from the truth. In fact, many of history's greatest scientists and inventors have spoken about the role of intuition and inspiration in their work. Einstein famously said, the intuitive mind is a sacred gift and the rational mind is a faithful servant. We have created a society that honors the servant and has forgotten the gift. When we communicate with the universe before sleep, we're not rejecting rationality. We're simply acknowledging that there's more to knowledge and understanding than what we can grasp with our conscious minds alone. We're creating space for intuition and inspiration to arise. And here's the beautiful thing, once we receive these intuitive insights, we can then apply our rational minds to explore and develop them. It's not an either slash or proposition. It's about integrating different ways of knowing and understanding the world. In fact, this practice can actually enhance our critical thinking skills. By regularly opening ourselves up to new ideas and perspectives, we become more flexible in our thinking. We're less likely to get stuck in rigid patterns of thought. We become better at seeing connections and possibilities that we might otherwise miss. So if you're a skeptical, scientifically-minded person, I encourage you to approach this practice with an open mind. Think of it as an experiment. Try it for a month and see what happens. You might be surprised by the results. But that's not what this practice is about at all. Communicating with the universe before sleep isn't about sitting back and waiting for miracles to happen. It's about actively engaging with life in a deeper, more meaningful way. When we ask the universe for guidance, we're not handing over control. We're expanding our awareness. We're opening ourselves up to new possibilities and perspectives. But it's still up to us to take action, to make choices, to do the work. Think of it like this, the universe might provide the inspiration, but we provide the perspiration. We're co-creators with the universe, not passive recipients of its wisdom. 
In fact, this practice often leads to greater personal responsibility. As we become more attuned to universal wisdom, we also become more aware of our interconnectedness with all of life. We start to see how our actions affect not just ourselves, but the world around us. This can lead to a deeper sense of ethical responsibility and a stronger commitment to making positive changes in our lives and in the world. So as you engage in this practice, remember, you're not giving away your power. You're amplifying it. You're aligning your individual will with the greater flow of life, and in doing so, you're becoming more powerful than you ever could be on your own. As we come to the end of our time together, I want to leave you with a challenge. Tonight, when you go to bed, try communicating with the universe. It doesn't have to be anything grand or life-changing. Start with something simple. Universe, what do I need to know right now, or how can I bring more joy into my life tomorrow? Then let go. Allow yourself to drift off to sleep without expectation. When you wake up in the morning, take a few moments to reflect. What's the first thought in your mind? How do you feel? Pay attention to any dreams you might remember, any sudden insights or ideas. And as you go through your day, stay alert for signs or messages. They might come in unexpected forms, a conversation with a friend, a passage in a book, a scene in a movie. Trust your intuition. If something resonates with you, pay attention to it. Do this for a week and see what happens. You might be surprised by the insights and opportunities that arise. You might find yourself looking at your life and the world around you with fresh eyes. Remember, this is just the beginning. Communicating with the universe before sleep is a practice, a journey. It's not about reaching a destination or achieving some perfect state of enlightenment. It's about continually opening yourself up to the wisdom and wonder of existence. As you continue this practice, you may find that your questions evolve. You may start asking deeper, more profound questions. You may find yourself more concerned with how you can contribute to the world than with what you can get from it. This is all part of the journey. And know that you're not alone on this journey. Every night, all around the world, countless others are also opening themselves up to universal wisdom. We're part of a global community of seekers and dreamers, all contributing to the collective consciousness of humanity. So tonight, as you lie down to sleep, remember, the universe is listening. It's waiting to share its wisdom with you. All you have to do is ask. Thank you for your attention and openness. May your dreams be filled with wisdom, and may your days be filled with wonder. Good night, and sweet dreams. In conclusion, communicating with the universe before sleep is more than just a nightly ritual. It's a way of life. It's a commitment to living with greater awareness, openness, and purpose. It's about recognizing that we're part of something larger than ourselves and aligning our lives with that greater whole. As you leave here tonight and return to your daily lives, I encourage you to carry this practice with you. Let it infuse every aspect of your existence. Let it guide your decisions, inspire your actions, and open your heart to the infinite possibilities that surround us all. Remember, the universe is not some distant, abstract concept. It's right here, right now. It's in the air you breathe, the ground beneath your feet, the stars above your head, and most importantly, it's within you. You are a unique expression of the universe, with your own vital role to play in the grand cosmic dance. So go forth with courage and curiosity. Ask your questions, listen for the answers, and trust that as you open yourself to the wisdom of the universe, you're opening yourself to your own highest potential. Thank you, and may your journey be filled with wonder, insight, and profound transformation.